No, it's been a it's been a, a major challenge getting this show getting this show done. But uh, it, it's the first time I think that these radical ideas have got onto a major platform, um, and and the whole the whole focus of the thing is summed up in the title of the show, Ancient Apocalypse, because we had an incredible apocalypse that hit this planet, and it wasn't just one moment; it was one thousand two hundred years of hell on earth, between roughly. 12,800 and 11,600 years ago. Wow. And, and that is not taken into account by mainstream historians and archaeologists. Something that really changed the world needs to be taken into account if we're claiming to have a full knowledge of the past of humanity. And so I'm just really glad that, that Netflix have taken this show on and they're going to blast it out to a worldwide audience. And, and hopefully that will begin to put more pressure on the academics who, frankly, I'm not a conspiracist, but they do act as gatekeepers as to what may be allowed out in front of the public and what may be not allowed. Yes, like, and that seems to be because of the books they've written, the lectures mm -hmm. they've given, that they've given all these lectures and they've written all these books that have theories that are outdated and they don't want to let those theories go in light of the new evidence. They, they want to push back as much as possible yeah. because... In, it frankly weakens their credibility as the arbiters of the truth. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the issue. But it's, it's really some quite sinister things have have happened, uh, be, you know, because of this show. I got banned from Egypt. Uh, they just that's the very clever way for archaeologists to make sure that no criticism can come can come in of their sites is just to of their take on things is just to ban the critic from from coming there. I got banned from Serpent Mound in Ohio. Can you imagine that? I mean, Serpent Mound is a national landmark. People should not get banned from 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 going there. When you say banned, meaning you tried to go there to film or yeah, just to visit? When, 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 we, when we approached them to make an episode of, of my Netflix series at Serpent Mound, initially they were welcoming, and then they heard that Graham Hancock was presenting the series. And immediately they turned around and said, no, filming permission is refused because Hancock's views differ from our own. Well, I was able to make a virtue of that um, in the sense that I stood at the gates of Serpent Mound, which were closed, and uh, I read out their letter where they, where they say that just because I don't agree with them, they won't allow me access to the site. Fortunately, we have masses of footage, drones, and, 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 and other things, and we were able to do the show. But it shows, again, the limited mentality and people must be very insecure in their ideas if they if they actually have to ban critics from expressing alternative ideas and what is the significance of serpent mound well serpent the first the first and foremost thing is it's an incredible beautiful amazing sight which everybody who can get to ohio should should go and see it's just a most incredible place but secondly there are indications that it's much older than it's supposed to be. And that has particularly to do with the way that the jaws of the serpent line up to the setting sun. And because the changing positions of the sunset due to changes in the Earth's motion. So this is it here? That's mm -hmm. it there. We're yeah. looking at the, 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 that's the head of the serpent and is looking straight at the setting sun. And this, uh, this alignment was perfect about 12 and a half thousand years ago. It's slightly off today, and that's because of changes in the rising point of the sun over thousands and thousands of years. And, and, and that's what they don't like. They don't want Serpent Mount to be older. There's a, one group of archaeologists who think it's just a thousand years old. Another group think, well, it, maybe it's two and a half or three thousand years old. Um, but the notion that it might be 12,000 years old is something they don't want to, anybody to hear, really. And is the evidence that it's 12,000 years old just based with the alignment of the sun, or is there other evidence? No, there's other evidence as well. There's material from that time that have been found at Serpent Mound, but archaeologists consider, consider it to be irrelevant to the date of Serpent Mound. Yeah, material, like what kind of material? Carbon datable material, objects, uh, bits of wood that were burnt. Mm. People were there, people were doing stuff. It's clear that that site has been constructed and reconstructed multiple times over thousands and thousands of years. And this is a theme that I've found throughout making Ancient Apocalypse, that w when you look at a, a particular site, what you're looking at is the latest incarnation of that site. But the site itself has been sacred for millennia, and it needs repair, it re needs renovation, particularly if it's an earthen mound like, like Serpent Mound. And so that's the, that is a, a theme that does seem to be repeated even under modern accepted archaeological uh, understandings of 
ancient sites like the Parthenon and the Acropolis? Well, less. I mean, less. Less so. Less so in terms of the le, timeline. Le, but... Less. Less so in terms. In terms of the timeline. I mean, one of the sites we we visited for the series is an incredible pyramid in Mexico, uh, at a at a place called Cholula, and it is in fact the largest pyramid in the world. Very few people have even heard of it, but it's a much bigger pyramid than the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. It's not as high, but its footprint is massive. So it's a huge, humongous thing sitting there on the ground. And it turns out that the, inside it are four other pyramids that were built on top of what we see and what we see now. What we see now was built on top of those, of those older pyramids. And then at the very heart of it is a sort of sacred spring that seems to have been the reason for the creation of that. And we, again, explore the possibility that the origins of this site may be much older than the archaeological dating.